Hotel Echo, Lima, Lima, Oscar. Good afternoon again from North London, England. From your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly DLG Repping. And I do have team lineup news from Arsenal and um, the substitution bench. So I'm going to give it to you um, straight away. The formation is a 4 4 2, as I predicted. The lineup, without further ado, goes like this. Aaron Ramsdale starts in goal. The back four is um, Benjamin White at right back. Took me a few seconds to get my, my own bearings straight and the words out. As I said, Benjamin White at right back here. The centre half pairing is William Saliba and Gabriel dos Santos Magueles. Sinchenko at left back. I guess that's always going to be the case. He's the only one who can invert. The midfield trio is um, Declan Rice sitting in the piv pivot role, which he's got to be, which he has to understand that he's going to require to be very disciplined. Because that role is key, and I believe he can do that job today. Either side of him, Martin Odegaard on the right hand side of him. On the left hand side of him, Kai Havertz. Oh dear. Anyway, with Thomas Party injured for up to four months, which is rumoured, it's a huge blow. Even if he's injured for a day, it's a huge blow. Anyway, the front three, Bukayo Saka right wing forward, Leandro Trossard left wing, um, sorry, left wing forward, Gabriel Martinelli, and Leandro, um, Eddie Nketiah up top. Now I'm gonna give you the substitution bench. Um, I can give you the first two at the top of my head. David Rea starts on the bench again. Takahiro Tomiyasu starts on the bench. Oh, I'm crying out loud, if I can get it up. Excuse me, yeah, Kivyar, Jorginho, Smith-Rowe, I'm happy about, at least he's on the bench. Nelson on the bench, Fabio Vieira deserves a place on the bench at least for his um, cameo performance against Fulham. Trossard and Jesus makes up the bench. That's nine substitutions on the bench and for me, it's a pretty strong bench but the squad could be a lot stronger. Let's be real. We have failed to do what we had to do two, three weeks before the transfer deadline. And we leave ourselves short again. And that's going to pay dividends come the business end of the season. I don't see us um, producing the goods. I see us failing. But however, I want to be proven wrong. I want the manager to prove me wrong. <laughs> that's all that I ask for. If he doesn't prove me wrong, him, Edu, Vinay Venkatesham, get out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Arsenal's too big of a club to be waiting how long for your um, phase one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. Nah, get nah, get that out. It's not good enough. What I want to see is an honest effort to beat Manchester United. Man United have gone strong themselves in goal or nah nah. Um, Diego Dolla goes at left back, right back Aaron Rambasaka. Okay. The centre half pairing is um, promising for me because I think Eddie Nketiah can get joy out of Lindelof more than what he would get out of Martinez. And then the midfield is Casemiro and Eriksen. That's interesting. They've gone with a 4 4 2 3 1. Fernandez, Anthony, and. Um, who else was it? Someone else picks himself and then Rashford, yeah, Rashford up top and then I think they've got someone else. And I think Rashford is up top anyway. But I feel that um, the difference would be what, the midfield. That's where the um, fiction is always won. <coughs> and that's where we beat Man United last season, the midfield area. Uh, my score prediction, I said to Cheeky Joe Sports here, yeah, we win by two to three clear goals. But if you've got a score prediction, leave it in the comment section below. Other than that, smash the thumbs up like button in abundance share this channel all over the globe especially to your friends and your relatives yeah and make sure that you subscribe to the channel dlg repping yeah smash that sub button for me left right and center gloriously but passionately for me yeah i just want us to um, get the three points and we just have to cope until january come january we need at least two to three players to make a big difference well i'll say three to four players we're three to four players short of um, making the difference come towards the business end of the season. All right, we're two points lighter off than last season. 
we've not performed well in the first three league games. It sounds like it's too early to be overreactionary, but the style of play and football that we keep producing on that home and away in general, for me, it's not good enough. It's too predictable, too slow and too flat-footed. We have to move a lot faster and better against these these lot from from um, whatever M M1 M5 wherever they're from. Anyway, I'm out of here. Yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe. As I already said, do all of that for me. Yeah, and enjoy the game. Other than that, it's always been a pleasure to do this. Um, video recording with you guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. Thank you for listening, thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching and saving the best to last. Thank you for putting up with me and my lack of enthusiasm. There's a reason for it anyway. I'm just being real. I say what I see with my naked eyes, like most football fans should do. Other than that, yeah, do look after your friends, do look after your families, make sure you look after yourselves. More peace, more lovings, more blessings again. That's your host himself, the one and only and truly DLG Repping. Remember, we're going to chat again, yeah? That being said, just one more thing, please, just always be nice, and I do mean be nice.